Hi, Phil Lindsay here with Peepa Casino. We're here at the Grosvenor Casino here in Newcastle. The press conference ahead of tomorrow night's show, Sudden Impact, at the... Well, it's Fed Brewery, isn't it? It's the Lancastrian Street, but it's the Fed Brewery. We've got Craig Dixon here. He's fighting about 11 months yeah, 11 layoff, months eh? Off, uh, yeah, 11 months off, yeah, 11 months off. So really looking forward to getting back into it. You know, I'm as hungry as ever. I'm feeling good in the gym. I'm feeling the best I've ever felt, to be honest. Um, I'm fit, I'm ready, and I just can't wait to get in there tomorrow. You know, it's a venue that I fought at a lot of times before as an amateur. So, you know, it's... Um, Familiar just, ground. Yeah, definitely, and, and I'm just looking forward to getting back in there. Yeah. See so, obviously, the last fight was with Lee Mould. Yeah. It was one that well, it was mentioned in the last interview. It could have gone either way. Lee got the nod. And you've obviously wanted to get back in before then, but there's been the fallouts or things like that. You've obviously yeah. had the burn as well. Quite a lot been happening. But sometimes... Because, you know, the life of a boxer, you've got to put so much dedication and sacrifice in. Sometimes having a break can reinvigorate yourself. Yeah, definitely. I think, um, I think it's yeah. definitely helped, you know. It's helped us get that hunger back, you know. Um, it's helped us, you know, just take a step back from the sport and take... You, you know, I'm just, like I, like I say, I'm just... I'm, um, mentally now, like, I'm just more hungry than ever to get back in there and prove a point especially come off a loss as well you know I want to get back in there and just prove that I can still mix it at the top level you know and I get this win on my belt hopefully tomorrow and kick on from there you know I'm at my peak now like I say I'm 29 I think I've got a good couple of years left in us to yeah. really push on starting and, tomorrow you know? and now's the time to get those fights that the all this build up and preparation has been building yeah. you towards this level is it? but I, I suppose obviously your first fight back you've had to go in is it Dw Dwayne Grimes you're fighting? Dwayne Grimes yeah so, um, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to underestimate him, you know, I'm, I'm expecting a tough fight from him, you know, but obviously I'll be, I'll be going in there to get a good win on me, not just win, but win in style, you know, it's not, it's not just about winning, it's, it's about really proving a point and winning in style, and, I, and hopefully if I can get a big fight off the back of this, if I can win it and get a big fight off the back of it and kick on from there, you know, because it's a big fight that I need, you know, and I need them now, really, so. Well, we're talking off camera before, and we're... I made a, an observation that the last two fights that you had, obviously with the, the Lee Mole fight and the fight yeah. before that where you headlined the show at Gates of Leisure, yeah. the, it's been noticeable that you've been putting a lot more into your shots and you've been a lot, yeah. lot more aggressive. Is that something that you're going to be looking to continue with this fight? Yeah, well, it's something we've been working on the gym for a while now and like, like you say, it's seen in the last couple of fights, you know, so I'll be carrying that, I'll be wanting to carry that through uh, into tomorrow's fight and, um, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens, you know, but obviously... I'll be. Um, I'm not going to be going for any knockouts or anything. But well, if, it if comes, it comes, it comes. It comes. Yeah, and opportunities do come, you know. So, so uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. So, again, not looking too far ahead. But like you say, in 29 now, you've got a got the young yeah. one there. The extra responsibility yeah. as, as, as well as extra happiness, of course. Oh, yeah. But you maybe looking over the next two or three years, looking to do as much as you can. So. Yeah. What will we be looking to do after this? Obviously, you are, you're looking at towards English, British title yeah. level before the mole fight, and with you being more refreshed and more motivated now, I guess you're looking to get back there as soon as possible, yeah, are you? most definitely, yeah. I mean, obviously, if I can get a win under my belt tomorrow and a good win, I might get another crack of the Northern area, you know, you never know, because that's a fight that obviously I would want. Um, obviously, the English title and British title are always going to be, you know, a priority, you know, somebody to aim for. But I think... Um, I think it's realistic the, to try and get a, another shot at the Northern area, at yeah. least, you know. So, um, but we'll see what we can get, you know. We'll, like I say, I'll concentrate on this fight for now, you know. Put, put all my effort, put all my focus into this yeah. one, and then we'll take it from there. And um, we'll, be, we'll be after the big fights, like I say, after this one. Well, the thing is, you can plan ahead and you can think, well, that would be ideal, that would be nice, but you don't know which opportunities are going to come up in terms of match-ups. Yeah, that's it, I, I mean... Um, even just an, an eliminator fight for the English title or something, you know, I know that yeah. it's, a, it's a tough weight division. There's plenty of names out there, you know. Even so, on the local scene, there's Yeah, some... just even on the local scene, exactly. So, I mean, there's um, there's a lot of competition out there for the, you know, for the titles, but, you know, they're the fights that I want to be in and get in amongst it, you know. So, <laughs> well, I think it was pretty unanimous that you were in the fight of the year 2014. Yeah. It would be nice to get some fights earlier in the year, but yeah. it's not about the... You know the, the frustrations. It's how you come back from that, yeah. and it's uh, it's going to be an interesting next oh, twelve months to yeah. see what happens. Because yeah, like I say exactly, with, yeah. with the local scene itself having so many big fights up there, that would be maybe the ideal sort of preparation. Yeah. Another Northern Area title fight and a good tough contest. Yeah, maybe the ten round that prepare you for those English titles and beyond. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. So um, 
I guess yeah, I've done uh, no, I've never, but another crack that would be would be ideal. But obviously, um, let's get this one out of the way yeah, first. Let's get this one out of the way, yeah, and then obviously want to up the rounds and, and hopefully look 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 towards titles, you know. But, but that's that's done with Ronnie as well, you know. That Ronnie, I'm sure, will get us the right fights, you know. And um, well, I just need to keep, I just need to get back to winning ways and keep winning. That's all I need to do. So well, we'll start with tomorrow. I'll be ringside. Craig, not Robert Dixon. I shall see you there. All the best, mate.